Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today, just a little um, recap really. Um, I've made these before. They're little sort of rolled roses um, and they are just so, so pretty. And I was just making a few um, to go in my Roses in Bloom journal because um, I made some little ditty ditty ones to go on here um, and I just love them. It's just like a little embellishment on there. Um, and I've just popped that on to this page which is um, a really lovely page and I thought I would cut this off now this is from the Friday freebie so I've just cut the sort of like piece off there and I've turned it upside down and it absolutely fits in there perfect um, and I thought that would make a really lovely pocket so look got a little tag I got one of my roses fussy cut roses and look at that doesn't that make a lovely pocket um, so all I've done on there as well is to pop some seam binding and I've just sewn it along and added two diddy little roses um, and a little bit of um, bling on there of course. Now these are super simple. Like I said, I've done these before. I've made them out of, this one is made out of just some white. This is sari silk. Um, so that's some white. This is just a little rolled up one which is made out of cheesecloth. Um, and then this is some silky fabric which is beautiful now I'm going to show you how to make them a little bit bigger like this because making them smaller is a little bit fiddly to show you but I just think they look beautiful on there um, and just lay on this side just as a little embellishment not too big so it will they will squash down this one I have actually made from the cotton fabric that I made the cover from so this is the, the fabric that I made the cover from, it's cotton, and this is quite hard, so I'm not quite sure whether um, I will make too many of these, but they might look quite nice, I haven't stuck that on yet. Um, just maybe a couple added to the front of the journal, I'm not sure, but I'm going to make a couple anyway. I'll show you how to make one from that first because it's a little bit easier to see. Oh, and these are just, I've just rolled up some seam binding. Um, because I just thought it might look nice just with a little bit of sort of like greenery in there. Do you know what I mean? When you put these together, we have a little one there, look. Just a little bit of greenery so it looks like a leaf. I'll show you how I did that in a minute. It's just so super simple, super simple. So they're not the perfect little roses, but they look lovely, I think. It's just a little, little added extra. Now I've taken a piece of fabric now let me just measure this so let me get my ruler out it's about five inches on here let's take these little bits um so i may not use all of that but it's better to have a longer piece um so you can you know control it better if you know what i mean so you've got more to hold in your hand so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the piece and i'm going to just fold the end over into like a little triangle like that and then fold that bit into there so then you fold that little triangle into the middle and then just roll it like that and then you want to turn that backwards so just roll that like that and then fold it round and look you've got your start of your little rows in there and again roll that round now I'm going to use a little bit of glue gun on there like that just to hold this down so it doesn't unravel and then again roll that round now I like to hold it from the top like that as I roll it I find it a little bit easier you can just sort of control it a little bit better now I'm not going to use all of this I'm just going to stick this little bit down a little bit of glue gun like that and look, you've got a little rosebud. I think that's lovely. Maybe I will make it just a little bit bigger. Just twist it. Just turn it back, back on itself and bring it round. And it gives you that lovely little um, rosy look, doesn't it? Maybe I will. I'll use all of this because it will be the same size as the other one then. A little bit of glue gun in there. I'm using glue gun because it's obviously sticks instantly. Um, if you're not going to use glue gun you need you know it's just going to sort of like unravel a little bit a little bit of glue in there like that 
and stick that down. And look, you've got this lovely little rose. I think they are just beautiful. Now I think these, this one will be a little bit too much to go in the journal. But just lay it on the side. I think they are lovely. So that's that one done. So that's quite simple. Now this is a piece of this lovely sort of like satiny fabric that I've got um, like this which is lovely and all as I've done I've got three pieces because I want a few of these I've taken a little section off now this is about five inches as well now this satiny fabric I'm just going to cut these little pieces off let's pop those there let's just cut these little end pieces off like that and this unravels so if I pull that like that can you see it unravels and it doesn't look too good so um, I'm going to just take my lighter and then just sort of like melt it a little bit just not too much so do be careful just go along there and it just sort of like seals the edges up so they're not going to sort of unravel like that. Don't do it too much because um, we don't want to burn it, but it just seals it nicely like that. And down through here. Oops. Perfect. There we go. So there's a nice little sealed bit. Right, to pop all my bits and pieces. I'll make a little um, cheesecloth one in a minute. Okay, so again, I've got the shiny side on the outside. So I'm just going to fold that down into a little triangle. Put that little end piece and fold that into the middle like that. Now I'm going to glue this one because this is a little bit um, silky, isn't it? So it does sort of like... Um, skid around fold that in again twist it backwards and roll it round now I'm going to add a little bit more glue like that now you can make these out of little bits of ribbon now these are sort of really like little ribbon roses but I'm just using it out of little bits of fabric that I've got that will go into the journal now again twist it backwards now I'm going to hold it from the top so they are in there like that. Control it a little bit better. Tiny, tiny little bit. Squeeze that in. And again, take this and twist it round. Oopsie daisy. Twist it round like that. Now I'm not going to use all of this one. Pop that in there like that. And then we've got little, little rows. All my like little rose buds, aren't they? Cut that little bit off. And then I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue on there. And just stick that down. Mind your fingers. And look at that. Look at that lovely rose. It's lovely. Oops, there's a little, little bit that needs gluing down there. Just pop a little bit in there and glue that down. So I just think they are so cute. Like I said, I've done these before, um, but it's just like a little reminder. We forget some of these things, don't we? Got glue everywhere. Now for the little um, cheesecloth one, exactly the same. These are a little bit easier to do. I don't glue these down too much because it will stay together. Just twist it backwards, wrap it round like that. So you will find, you will probably find different sort of like ribbons and fabrics are a lot, lot easier to use. Um, so I'm just going to snip that off because this is sort of like pretty um, holy on here. You'll find that the glue will go all the way through, but just be careful with your fingers. There we go, got a little, little one there. So that was quick and easy. Oops, stuck to my finger. So these, I think these are just lovely little additions to your journal. Take that out.
now I'm going to do another one so I've got the um, silky side on the outside not that I don't think it really matters oops I'm going to fold it over like that and fold that one over now I'm just going to lift that up pop a little bit of glue in there so this is a good sort of mass making isn't it if you like to mass make fold that in again turn it back on itself and twist it round oh, I'm going to glue that actually let's just add a little bit of glue in there like that twist it round like that hold it from the top pop a little bit of glue in there and wrap it round hold that tight twist whoops twist that round a little bit of glue once you get going on these you'll probably make lots and lots so just twist it and glue it so if you've not made these before have a little practice don't use your best fabric just get a little bit of ribbon and um, start twisting it's quite quite simple but yeah don't make them too small either because um, to start with because you'll get very frustrated with the smaller ones look at that and I like these little bits out like the little rose petals they pretty really really pretty so I'm going to make another white one because I need another white one I'm not going to take it off this I'm just going to do it as it is so again I'm going to just going to fold that down fold that in pop a little bit of glue in there twist that round oopsie daisy and then go backwards like that twist it round I'm going to hold that from the top piece and then I'm going to just glue this here like that again twist it oops I'm going to just come round on this one and then twist and then glue this little bit on there so there we go lovely little rose I'm going to just chop this little bit off take a little bit of glue my glue gun's been on for a little while so the glue tends to sort of like um, change colour it's got a little bit yellowy so do be careful on your white if you're using white fabric just cut a little bit off there we've got a lovely little rose that's not the best one but I think once they're sort of all put together like this I think they just look so pretty don't they that would look nice on the little um, paper clip wouldn't it so I just think they are lovely so what I'm going to do so that's a nice super oh let me just show you quickly how to do the little green bit so this is just like a super simple all I'm doing in between my fingers this is seam binding and this works really well you're better off having a sort of a, a rougher um, sort of lace uh, lace ribbon and all I'm doing I'm rolling it and then rolling back so in between your fingers just roll forward and roll back and that's it that's all I'm going to do a little bit of glue in there and then just hold that together and then we've got like a little funny leafy thing just so it looks like a little bit of greenery that's sort of rolled up so that's just really simple isn't it just scrunching up a piece of seam binding so what else I'm going to do you can do it sort of like start from there so if you want it a little bit longer do it sort of like from the corner 
and go backwards and forwards like that and it just sort of like oops that wasn't very good just sort of like rolls it up into like a little piece like that so I think it looks quite leafy let's pop a little bit of glue in there twist that round oh that's not the best one but oh I don't know that's quite nice actually looks a bit leafy this one do you know what I mean so that's oh that's quite nice I quite like that do you know what I mean so then you've got like a little leafy bit that's coming out just a little bit of greenery so they're not so they look a little bit different right so what I'm going to do quickly so this is a nice quick video just a recap isn't it we like our little recaps now and again I don't know what's going on with my glue bottle right I'm going to stick this down because this is a lovely little pocket and here that on there look at that I just think that looks so pretty so delicate isn't it like that and like I said I'm gonna to have to go through all my little bits and pieces and then we have got this lovely little pocket in there to put little postcards or I've got some of my postcards I was thinking of putting postcards in here as well to uh, write on so that's that one and the other one that I wanted to do what have we got in here? Was it this one? No, I don't think it was this one. I think it was this one. This one here, this one. Um, I took, I had like this oval aperture, it's out of an aperture card, um, and I just cut it in half. So it fits on the side of the page like that. And then I've added a little fussy cut little bit of lace on there and then I've just stuck it on to the page like this piece on the edge and then um, added some cheesecloth little bit of bling on there little word and then we've got I don't know where all my cards are this one that is just like a little tuck and what I've done I've added a little bit of cheesecloth down there so it doesn't fall out because sometimes these little tuck things um, do things fall out but that sort of like saves it from sort of like falling out too much um, but I was just looking at these and they just look so pretty don't they on the edge I might stick one which is the nice one I might just stick one I don't want anything too big do you know what I mean I know this is quite a big one but they do squash down do you know what I mean I was just thinking and to cover this little bit up I was going to use another little bit of cheesecloth just to pop around there like that so I think I will do that I'm going to just stick some glue a little bit of glue gun on there squash that down do you know what I mean because they squash so in there when it's closed I've got quite a bit of room um, for my journal anyway oh do we want a little bit of greenery in there no I think it looks like a little worm coming out I don't think we'll use that and then I'm just going to pop a little bit of this but I'm going to use my three in one oops because my glue gun like I said is a little bit yellow and I don't want that showing through so let's just pop this on there like that so there we go don't you think that looks really really pretty on there just looks so pretty and these are just little um, where are they what have I done with them there they are this is just a box that I got in England I got them in a little bag it was just a little mixture of things and they're like little just little flat back jemmy things um, and they are lovely so and they got really nice shiny pearly effect you know what I'm like with me blingy bits I think they look really really pretty so can you see that looks so lovely doesn't it and they are so simple to do I've done them out of scrap fabric as well before um, but I think they are just 
a lovely little addition to a journal so there we go guys it's a just a nice quick reminder of um, just making some little little embellishments some little flowers so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me have a fab rest of the day take care stay safe and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye